Time drifted away with the wind, and as the centuries became chapters in the book of life, the earth took time to die. In its last days, it drained the oceans and left the moon with no tides to pull. Then came the winds in their final sweep around the world, bellowing down mountain slopes and roaring across dusty plains, whipping whirlwinds of sand before them in the air. They shifted and screamed through the scars where the seas had been, and when they could scream no more, died as a breeze on the ocean floor. God threw open the door of heaven, and a radiance of light burst in the darkness, splitting the rolling waves of air at their wake, and displayed heaven in its pale mist. Angels circled through the sky, singing psalms of joy, while God beckoned his people heavenward. But God watched the despotic mankind turn its back on salvation, and in his wrath sent the moon hurling across the earth like an avalanche rock ground against rock, tearing great gashes in the moon. As screams mingled with the sound of crushed bodies, rivers of blood filled the empty seas. Here, under the roar of destruction, the superior mankind died with a whimper. Then, as the misty twilight of the universe surrounded the stars, it dipped down, erasing the earth from view. God closed the door of heaven for all time. This now was the end of the world of now.